Hi and welcome to a new screencast from us at Kodamera. My name is Adam Evertsson and today I'm going to show you how to move or copy or migrate taxonomy list from one Drupal site to another. Imagine that you're migrating from one Drupal version to another instead of doing an update or upgrade. Or if you find a good list of tags, for example, on one Drupal site, and you want to move these to a different site. Of course, if you only have 10 or 15, perhaps it's easier just to copy and paste. But if you're dealing with a list of thousands of terms in a, in a vocabulary, well, then this module that I'm going to show you might be the solution. The module is called Taxonomy CSV Import Export. And it does exactly what the name suggests. It's a CSV, a comma-separated file, import-export tool for taxonomies in Drupal. Right, so I've set up an older version of Drupal with a the vocabulary of just a few terms, just to show how it is. And uh, let's go into this and do uh, the first step, the export. So in Drupal 6 you need to go to Administer, Content Management and Taxonomy. And normally you just have list and add vocabulary as links here. But the module uh, gives you these two, CSV import and CSV export as options. And as you see we only have one vocabulary, it's tags. And if we list the terms you see that there are not that many. Uh, I think it's 15, just to show you how it works. All right, back to this, and we're going to do an export. So you use this form to do an export, and it's, it's fairly simple. What do I want to export? Uh, I can choose just term names. I can also choose TID and name of terms, and TID is the term ID, which is located in the Drupal database. So if you want to keep uh, the, the, the term ID alongside with the term name, then you want to choose this. It basically covers all the different versions of um, a structure that you can use in Drupal uh, when it comes to taxonomy. You also have an option for taxonomy manager, which is a module which gives you a, a graphic interface when it comes to dealing with taxonomy, uh, different hierarchies and uh, setups for your vocabularies and terms. Uh, I'm not going to go deeper into that, but uh, Taxonomy Manager adds a lot of information and when exporting uh, the vocabularies used by Taxonomy Manager, you can actually export all the information with this module. All right, so let's start with a, a simple one. Term names. I just want the term names. I'm going to import it into a fairly new uh, Drupal installation. So that's it. And uh, I only have one vocabulary, so that's the one I'm going to choose. I want to ch uh, choose the tags vocabulary. And how would I like to format it? I'm not going to change anything here. Comma is a good value delimiter and quotation mark is a good value enclosure. All right, so under advanced and specific options, I can choose the terms order, weight or internal order, and this is the TID again, the term ID. Right, so this is fairly simple, it's, it's straight on, so I'll, I'll do an export. All right, it looks green. 15 of 15 terms of shows and vocabularies has been exported to this file. It's download that and let's take a closer look. Well, so this is it, one term per line. Right, so let's switch to a new Drupal version. This is Drupal 7 and in here uh, we have a structure. The menu changed a bit from Drupal 6 to Drupal 7, but here we have a taxonomy and as before in Drupal 6 we also have a tags vocabulary. But since I've downloaded and enabled the taxonomy CSV import export module, uh, you have these two. And if we look at the CSV export, you see that it's, it's fairly the same thing. It's an easy export tool. Well, the import tool is uh, a bit more complicated. And depending on what kind of structure you're importing, uh, you might want to change uh, different settings here. 
Uh, I have a fairly simple one. Well, I have the, the simplest one, just a bunch of terms. So this is going to be quite easy. Uh, I want to import um, the structure, a flat structure. It's just one uh, vocabulary. Where are the items? And it gives you three options. I can copy and paste from the CSV file into here. I can choose a local file, which I'm going to do, or I can point to a distant file, for example, an FTP server. But I'm going to choose our local file. It's in downloads. This is it. Thank you. And how is it formatted? Well, this must correlate to how you set up your export. So if we go down here and the format was comma as value delimiter and quotation mark as value enclosure. And we want that here as well. So value delimiter is comma, quotation mark as value enclosure. This looks good. And it's plain text. Yes, and I'm going to leave these. I want to check the lines and uh, I want to check the UTF-8 format as well. Right, so let's go up. Which vocabulary? Well, now it gets interesting. I can auto create a new vocabulary or I can import into an existing vocabulary. In this case, I'm going to choose to import into an existing. And the choice, well, I only have one, so it's the tags. I can actually delete all terms in the selected vocabulary as well before importing. Uh, in this case, my tags vocabulary is empty, so I don't want to do that. But perhaps you'll find yourself in a situation where you want to delete all terms. So you can just check that if you want to. So what would we like to do when a term exists? In this case, it doesn't matter. I don't have any terms that might uh, collide and, and create an error, uh, but you can either update it and merge the fields, uh, which is to avoid duplicate terms, uh, but you can also ignore it and create a new term. And lastly, you can also uh, choose what kind of information you want to see when doing the actual import. If you have a large list with terms and vocabularies, you might want to look into using Drush uh, alongside this module. Uh, Taxonomy CSV Import Export module has uh, support for Drush commands. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, I've chosen the file, so let's click Import. So, as I said, uh, very small file, only 15 items, and everything is green, so I suppose that's good. All right, so properties can be edited, yes, the vocabulary edit, but I want to view the terms. So I'll click here, and here it is. 15 terms into the tags vocabulary. That's basically how you use this module. I've used it a lot of times when moving uh, large amounts or, or less amounts of uh, taxonomies and it, it never fails. It's a good module and I highly recommend it if you find yourself in a position where you want to move or copy or migrate a large amount of taxonomy terms. Thank you for watching our screencast. Please comment on the guides and screencasts we have to put together on our website and YouTube channel. Goodbye! Thank you.